enjoy that time. I do realize that it's an everyday fight. But Jesus really died and Jesus really resurrected from the dead. And if you're willing to talk about it, I'm willing to have a conversation with you. If you have any questions or concerns or anything about Jesus Christ, we can have a conversation on or off the mic if you would like others to hear or if you would not like others to hear. Hey, my brother, you look like you got things you want to say about Jesus or no? If you want to say anything about Jesus, please be welcome. Like I said, I used to be an average ordinary man. I used to be one who was addicted to all sorts of things. But Jesus really came and he set me free. I was in college and I joined a club called Generation Investigating God. I thought I had interesting questions about God and about his existence and about Jesus Christ. And so I went. It wasn't until about my third time there that I realized that I don't know as much about Jesus as I thought I did. So I began to look into the life of Jesus myself. And as I began to, as I began to hear the things that Jesus said, he began to win my heart over. There's nothing wrong with Jesus. He really was good. And he really did things that only God could do. If you're willing to talk about it, I'm willing to talk about it with you. But Jesus won my heart over, and I began to apply his words into my life. And by applying his words to my life, I showed my love for him. And by showing my love for him, he appeared to me. He met me a few years ago, and my life has not been the same since. Is there anybody that believes? Is there anybody that believes that Jesus Christ is the white man's religion? Was Jesus Christ brought about on the people of color by white people, or did they already know about him before the Europeans? Does the Bible encourage slavery? Does the Bible encourage racism? Who is that? I can't hear you. You can come and talk, whether on the mic or off the mic. I heard somebody. Please, we'd love to have a conversation with you. Amen. Amen. God is. Does anybody want to come down here right now and give your life to Jesus? This is the altar call. This is our altar call. Come down and give your life to Jesus today. Because I'm going to be frankly honest with you, we don't have that much time left. We do not have that much time left. Amen. The things that you see happening in this world right now has already been foretold to us. Foretold to us in revelation by God the Almighty. You see, we have a we have a plan in the Bible. We have a life plan. Do you know what the Bible stands for? Basic construction before leaving earth. Basic instruction before leaving earth. And we preach the true gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is God's only son provides eternal life. Oh, I feel the Holy Spirit up in here. God's only son provides eternal life. That's the whole of the gospel. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know the whole Bible to know the gospel, right? Am I right about it? 
don't need to know the whole Bible. I mean, it would help to understand God and His ways more if you understood. I mean, if you read the whole Bible. But to know the gospel and know who Jesus is, you just got to know the gospel and just know that God's only Son provides eternal life. And that it's only through Him that you can have communication with God the Father. And contrary to popular belief, love is love in the Pharisee. Love is love. Jesus is love. Am I right about it? And love is Jesus. Amen. I mean, let me break it down for you. For God so what the world? God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son. Now that's what I call love. Jesus died at Calvary to save the rich, like you and me. That's love. That's love. Amen. That's what love is. So instead of saying love is love. You need to say, Jesus is love. Amen. And he's the only one that can unify us with God the Father. That's called unity and communication. Amen. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. That's the only love you'll ever need. It's the love of Jesus. Amen. Your brother might say you love you. Your sister might say she loves you. Your friends might say they love you, but they're planning to kill you behind your back. That's not love. The love of Jesus, the love that he gave us and that he gives us to this day, is an unforsaken love. And Jesus loves you for you. For who you are. Even with all your blemishes and with, even with all your sins, Jesus still loves you. For Jesus said, I have not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. To save the world. Jesus also said, I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law. Everything was fulfilled at the cross. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burdens in my life went away. It was there by faith. I received my sight and now I am happy all the day. Who's happy all the day? You're not going to be happy all the day. Not in this world that we live in right now. But when you accept Jesus and you walk with Jesus, you're going to be happy all the day until Jesus comes. All the day. Are you ready, sister? I'm finished. Amen. So walk with Jesus today and be happy all the day. Because it's only Jesus that makes a way when there's faith to be no way. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. Yes. All He's just so good to me. I so in love with him. <laughs> because of the price he paid way back in Calvary. My mother didn't do it. My daddy didn't do it. My lover didn't do it. My sons and daughters did not do it. But only Jesus Christ, his precious blood, helped me. His precious blood, cover me. His precious blood, save me. His precious blood, heal me and deliver me from myself. Amen. As 
Jeremiah 4. If thou will return, O America, said the Lord, return unto me, and if thou will put away thine abomination out of my sight, then shalt thou not remove. In the name of Jesus, Satan, leave that man. Flee. And thou shalt swear, the Lord liveth in truth and in judgment and in righteousness. And the nation shall bless themselves in him, and in him they shall glory. For thus said the Lord to the men of America, break up your fellow ground and sow not torn amongst them. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the foreskin of your heart. Yeah. You men of America and inhabitation, let my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doing. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is asking America to turn away from their fornication, from their as idol, adultery, homosexual, lesbian, witchcraft. God is telling you to turn away from the God that you are worshiping now. He's telling you, if you turn away, he shall heal America. Yeah. Yes, God is telling you to turn on that flag, that flag of abomination that defiles a perfect God, that brings shame to America. God is telling America today, come back to Him. America, God is telling you to come back to Him. He is a righteous God. He is a loving God. He is a faithful God. If you shall put away your abomination, He said that those that walk in, in darkness shall see a marvelous light. Because Jesus is the light of the world. Yeah. And those that walk in the spirit of Jesus Christ, they saw a transformation. God has taken away that idolatry spread from you. He will move it. He will take away that plague that is haunting America. America changed their God and put up a flag of homosexuality, yes, immorality. America going backward. America was a nation under one God, worshiping one God, one Savior, Jesus Christ Himself. Yes. But where is America now? Yes. What went wrong with America? America disobeyed God. Yes. And today, America has a second chance before God moves His hands out of America. America has a second chance yes. of repentance. God is calling you, America, to turn away. Turn away yeah. from your abomination. Turn Come back to Him. God is a righteous God. He does require sacrifice, but He requires your obedience. God is calling you to obey Him, to reconcile yourself back to Him today. Yeah. Yeah. We have mothers and fathers. And if your mommy said, come here, you will come to him. If your daddy said, come here, you will come to him. 
For God is of a heavenly power. He created you in His image and likeness. What is it to obey God? He needs that 